Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'll be talking about my experience flying on a plane from Athens to Berlin with my AYN Odin. You can see here I have it in the case which I'm taking it out of. And I've been very happy with this case actually. It goes in upside down, but it's still quite nice. There we go. And it stows away quite nicely back into my bag. Now with many other handhelds, I would need to have uh, headphones or earbuds to play them. But I love that with the AYN Odin, I can just go up here to Bluetooth and connect my AirPods, which is really nice for any kind of travel, plane, bus, train. Don't have all those wires that are annoying while you want a game. Let's hear the screen's a bit light but you can go in here and increase that brightness up which is amazing because earlier I was playing on the plane and I was just playing at 40% brightness even though I had direct sunlight coming in I didn't even notice that yes I can raise this up to 100% and I can see the screen a whole lot better and this is about uh, twice as bright as a uh, Steam Deck So let's play some Outrun on the Sega Saturn. Now I picked this game because uh, the AYN Odin has analog triggers, which is perfect for this game. Up here, there you see it. All right. Now on this entire trip, I took a plane to Athens then I ended up taking a ferry to uh, Serifos Island, and then a ferry back, and then another plane back to Berlin. And I have to say, for plane and ferry gaming, the Odin has just been incredible. It's uh, big enough to have a very nice view of everything when you play, and it's small enough that you can just stow it right back into your bag when you're done. This is great when I wanted, for example, just to get coffee, and then I could just put it in the pocket in front of me. And also what I found was quite nice was that I could generally put the Odin in a position where I could just view it for video viewing as well. One thing I also like to do is just uh, download videos on YouTube with the YouTube Premium and then watch them when I'm in a situation like a plane or on the ferry where I just don't have really good internet access. Just watch my favorite YouTube retro gaming channels as I fly or ride the waves. I also think I'd prefer having an Odin over a Steam Deck because I think a Steam Deck would just be too big in such a small space. And you could also annoy the neighbor on your left or right as you're traveling. But if you have a Steam Deck and you've traveled on the bus, plane, train, ferry, let me know what your experience is because I'm really curious to see is it really as big as I think it is. Also I could see the Steam Deck fan annoying your neighbors as well. Well, not so much in a plane, because the plane ambient noise is so loud, but definitely on, say, a train or a bus or a ferry like I was talking about before. All in all, for travel purposes, I personally prefer the AYN Odin over any other device. I think it's the perfect size, not too big, not too small, and it has all the modern conveniences for retro gaming. And I can't emphasize enough, if you're sitting next to the window with direct light pouring in from the sun, you'll be able to see everything perfectly clearly. Before I shot this video, I was even playing in 40% brightness and it was okay. Then I cranked up to 100 and it was amazing. So please like, subscribe, share this video with all of your retro gaming friends who fly. And if you can support me on Patreon, I'd be eternally grateful to help keep these Odin videos and everything retro gaming coming to YouTube for you. I have some exciting stuff planned, so stay tuned in the coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see all that great retro gaming content. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek. Bye!